Hey there, I hope you're fantastic. This is gonna be an overview on how to create and use sends in Pro Tools. Maybe you uh, are very familiar with sends and you just wanna know how to set them up, or maybe you've never used one and you wanna learn all about it. So, so first, I'll show those of you who just wanna learn right off the bat, how do I create a send quickly? Well, if you've got uh, a main track here, let's say this is my strings. You need to create an aux track. And how you do that is by holding Shift Command N, which brings up the new tracks dialog, or you can go to track and you can go to um, new. And here it'll bring up this dialog and you can create what kind of an auxiliary or what kind of track you wanna create. So we're gonna create a stereo and we're gonna create an aux input and there we go. So, so now we need to assign a bus to this aux. So let's say we wanna create just a basic reverb. So I'm going to go here, let's do a multi-channel plugin. Let's do Valhalla, cause it's cool and it's great. Um, all right, so we need to create a bus input we'll just go bus one two and you need to go to your sends here and uh, assign that send to bus one and two and boom this pops up now you can also do this from the mixer menu where here let me do See the sends view? That is where you create, that's where you assign the send. So we're selecting bus one and two. And same with this aux, this is where you can create the input or what bus is going to it, okay? So um, once you've got the send, now you can control the amount of reverb. That's the quick up and running way. For those of you who are new to this, this is a way of uh, putting effects on multiple tracks, okay? So let's say we had, um, we wanted to put reverb on more than one track and we wanted them all to share this reverb. This is a way of doing it. You, you create an aux and this is uh, standard across all DAWs and mixing setups, you create an auxiliary and you put whatever effect you want on that effect or on that track. You put a reverb, you can put a delay, you can put anything you want, really, any effect. And then you, you select a bus or a send that you're going to send from your tracks to this effect aux and then it returns back to that track and you can mix in however, you know, whatever amount you want of that effect, okay? One way is you can just put this effect on this track itself, right? And you can dial in the parameters. But when you do it this way, you can add this reverb to multiple tracks. So let's duplicate this track. Let's put three. Okay, and let so we'll call this one strings, and we'll call this one piano, and we'll call this one strings two. Okay, so we're gonna bring up a piano patch on here. I'm just. We'll bring up this and we'll bring up okay. What we'll do is we'll call this high strings and low strings. Okay. All right. So let's build out a little 
a uh, little part. So let's change this. We'll leave that as such and we'll bring this up. Okay. Actually, you know, we'll make a harmony. And we'll and we'll add one more. Okay. So let's say we've arranged our song. And we'll turn these down a little bit. Turn this up. Okay, so we've got the piano doing that. We've got the low strings doing this. And we've got the high strings doing this. Okay, so say we want this, we want reverb on all of these tracks. Here's what they sound like dry. Now this strings patch has its own reverb built in, but let's say we want to add a bit more. Let's say we want to make this piano a lot more reverberant. Well, we can control the amount of reverb we want with this sin that we set up. Oh, this brings up a good point. When you create an aux, you need to solo safe it. What does that mean? Well, right now we've got the piano soloed, and we're not hearing the aux. And, and what you want to do is you want to hit Command and click on the S. So now we're going to hit, we're going to hear this aux when this is soloed. All right, so this is without the reverb. Here's with it. Let's make it really drastic, just so you can hear. So we can control the amount of reverb we want by controlling how much this send is going to this aux. So now let's go to our strings. Now see what we're doing? All of these sends are going to this reverb, and that can kind of help glue your mix together when you have all of the tracks sound like they're in the same room. So, and you can create a sense of space. You know, the more reverb you put on, the further things sound in distance, and the less of reverb, the closer they sound. So here we're putting the piano way far in the back and just giving uh, just a hint of reverb on the strings. So here we go. And if you look, these, these all have different amounts of reverb. Okay, let's say we want to create another effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another auxiliary. And you want to make sure that it's an aux, not an audio track. And let's name this, we'll call this reverb. Let's, let's see. Here, I'm gonna show you how to create, um, to get this view, by the way, to see everything in, in your edit, you need to go to view, edit window views, and see how I have my inserts showing. If those aren't checked, you're not going to see these, same with the sends. But let's say you don't see this view and you wanna do it from the mixer. So, we're going to go to this new aux and we're going to decide what kind of effect we want. Alright, so let's go up here to our inserts. And what do we want to do? Let's do... Let's 
Stu McDSP Futz box. So this is a very, very cool plugin where it, you, you can emulate different speakers and combinations of speakers. So we will pick, let's just go to, um, I don't know, this horror tone, okay? So we'll call this Futz Box. Now, the next thing again, what we have to do is we have to decide what bus we're going to put these sends on. So we're going to go to bus 3, 4. And we are going to go to our sends here. Oh, wrong track. We need to put the sends from our instruments. Send. And you need to pick the, bu the correct bus that is going to this auxiliary. So we're going to pick bus 3, 4. All right. And now we can send it to this Futz box. So here we go. Now I'm not doing this to make it sound good. This is all for uh, educational purposes. But if you look at what we're doing, we can control the amount of all these different effects. So we're on the piano. Let's take off the reverb. Ah, oh, forgot to solo safe it. That's why we're not hearing it. So let's command click. Okay. Hear the difference? That's going through this plug in. And now let's add the reverb back in. And you can just keep doing this. You can add a bunch of sends. You can add three or four reverbs. You can uh, you can add, you know, distortion. You can add delays. Uh, this is a great way to parallel compress. Um, and what is parallel compress? Well, why not just throw another little tutorial in here? Let's create a new aux. That means you have a send that goes to an auxiliary that is compressing the signal as well. So let's create an aux. We'll call this parallel compression. And let's put our bus on 6768. And let's create. So what we're going to do, and you can also control the end of the the overall volume of this reverb and futz box, and, or or of these auxiliaries. So let's say you have everything dialed in. You like the ratios, but you just want to bring the overall reverb down just a bit. Well, then you can just grab this little fader and bring it down. Okay, so let's set up our compressor. I'm going to go to a, let's go to a Waves, a Waves SSL, and we will compress the heck out of it. Oh, we have to send it first. To remember to at command and click the solo to solo save it. And so now what we're doing is I wonder if so now what we're doing is we're sending the signal from each of these to this compressor and the compressor is compressing everything. So we're getting the sound of 
all of these compressed signals along with the individual sound of these tracks. Does that make sense? Here's what happens if we mute it. Okay, I, that this is uh, can be a little overwhelming if you're new to sends and auxiliaries, but you know, watch this a couple times and practice it, and you'll get the concept. Um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to hit me up. And if this was helpful to you, feel free to like and subscribe and share. And I will catch you on the next one. All right, have a great one.